Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from the Durham Brewery and it's their Bombay 106 Original India Pale Ale 7% ABV and it's a premium bottle conditioned ale. This will be my first beer from the Durham Brewery. I'd like to say a big big thank you to a friend He's a friend really, we've met um, on the Magic Rock Brewery Tour, um, check him out, it's youtube.com forward slash hopzine, H-O-P-Z-I-N-E, check him out, hell of a nice fella, certainly knows his beer, great reviewer, um, and this one I've been looking forward to, because it's December the 30th, so this is my Happy New Year's message to everyone. So Happy New Year um, to all my followers, um, if you're catching it in the future, Happy New Year to you anyway. Um, if you're a new viewer, Happy New Year. It's been a fantastic year, it really has. It's been a real, real journey with the beer. And may it continue into 2012 and beyond. Right, this is a bottle conditioned beer, so it's quite handy. I got a light to my right, so it's quite handy having a the light there because I can, I really can see the sediment pouring, pouring through, and I, I really know when to stop on the bottle. You can really see it, but the glass of beer we have here is. Golden, golden in colour, lovely golden colour. It's a one finger head, uh, very white head. Nice, nice carbonation condition into this beer. Look at that. Beautiful clear glass of beer. This is, I've read the bottle of this one before I did the review. I was really interested in um, this particular bottle. And it's how they used to brew India Pale Ales originally. So there's no American hops in here. It's um, gold, English Goldings and Maris Otter, which produces a pale bitter. So let's get the nose. We get a slight bit of spice in there. Hints of citrus. It smells a little bready. Cheers everyone, I am dying for this. And me. <clears throat> My burping actually spoiled that taste, so I'm going to go again because all I did was bring back some tastes of food, so I'm not going to give you the tasting notes of that. It's nicely spiced. It's, first of all you've got a bitter, sorry, sorry a, a sweet malt flavour, followed by a nice dry bitter finish. <coughs> it's bready, the malt is giving off a bready taste which I do like. I've got to admit it's making me, um, it is making me burp a bit this one, <laughs> I do apologise. It's citrusy, but not American citrusy. It's it's very very mild, very very mild. And then the actually, 
And then right at the end it becomes quite hoppy. It becomes quite hoppy and it gives a nice lingering long bitter finish. Mm. This is a nice beer. And one other thing as well, with it being 7%, you really don't get any of the alcohol. You really don't get any, any of that. It drinks like a 5% beer. Four, half, five percent. It really has been made very well. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of... There's lemon, like a lemon skin. And then I'm, I'm sure I just cut down a little bit of lime. Small hints of lime in it as well. Hmm. I want to read the... There's a little bit of, there's a note on here that says, named after the 106th Brigade of the East India Trading Company, who later became the 2nd Battalion of the Durham Light Infantry, this type of beer was drunk in India at this time. Very pale, Maritata malt and traditional English golding hops replicate the original pale bitter. Bitterness is robust but well rounded with a spicy peppery finish and heady alcohol esters. Now I do get that spiciness, it is, it is there, most definitely there. Uh, food match for this is curries and other heavily flavoured food. Also steak and chips. Fantastic, fantastic. Drink before August 2013, it is still just by one day, 2011, it's December the 30th today. Um, got to give you the website for this beer, it's www.durhambrewery.co.uk Let's get that to focus. Please, please check out the website. I'd be interested to try the rest of their range, it, it does it seems a very, very strong brewery, this one. It, even drinking one beer, you seem to know that they make a good range of beer. The beer is very clear. It looks very good. You certainly, if they poured that at the bar, you think, wow, that looks a very, very good pint of beer. At this stage of the review, i like to show you, if you're new, if you're wondering what bottle conditioner it is, First of all, let me give it a rating. I like this. I really do like this. I think the spiciness to begin with hits and mixes with the lemon flavour and it and maybe the this hints of grapefruit and it kind of gives off for me anyway tastes uh, quite different but it gives me a little bit of a lime like a lime taste which is, is quite spot on. So for this, the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it's sitting in my stomach, the way it tastes, um, it's very strong, they've got a big connection there with the history, certainly looked into everything. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, That's an 8 out of 10. For the Durham Brewery Bombay 106 Original India Pale Ale. There's your clear, clear glass of beer. If you're watching for the first time, you're wondering what a bottle conditioned beer is. They put a bit of yeast in the bottom of the bottle. You, you meant to leave it settle on the on a worktop. <coughs> sorry for a bit of time, maybe two hours, 10 degrees Celsius. Pour out gently. Leave the condition in the bottom so it settles down nicely on the worktop, the bottle. If, however, you want to see what the bottle conditioning does, they put the yeast in the bottom to give you a bit of sparkle in the beer. It helps with the carbonation. This is what it looks like with the conditioning poured in. Instantly, look. It's a completely different glass of beer. It's hazy. The bubbles, the carbonation is a little bit wilder. And I'm imagining the taste to be a little bit more chalky. Let's get in there and have a go. I 
and it's no different whatsoever no different whatsoever that is a very good very very good bottle of beer there's no yeast cake on the bottom of the bottle either so yeah 8 out of 10 for the real ale guide you can email me at real ale guide at googlemail.com facebook is facebook.com forward slash real ale craft beer and twitter is twitter.com forward slash real ale today thanks for watching i love your comments please comment in the box i'll always look to answer subscribe if you like Happy New Year and cheers.